try this. Ain't nobody got time for that. Swappa.com is allowing me to bring you this video in 4K. If you need some new gear for your passion projects, why not grab it here at Swappa.com. Links are in the description. In our last video, we set up Unity for our Mega Man Battle Network game. Special thanks goes out to Joel and Fortnite Noob for getting us to 65 views. If we can get to 100 views in this video, I'll be producing the next video even faster. Once again, to not overwhelm our viewers, today we're focusing on movement. In our next video, we'll be focusing on shooting. All right, so we still have a little bit left to do. We're going to be setting up the position of the camera in an isometric format. The main camera is the source of our camera preview, and it can be located in the Game Objects section of Unity. You may also position the camera manually by changing the Transform in the Inspector. Remember, we're looking to get that isometric feel of the Mega Man Battle Network series, so Tell me what you think. We are now going to drag and drop the scripts into our project. You have the option of creating your own scripts from scratch or dragging and dropping scripts from on your computer or desktop. If you're going to be creating them from scratch, you can copy and paste said scripts from the description section. After adding the scripts to the project and placing them on specific objects, you may have a little bit of difficulty, like having your character fuse into the platform. Different programmers may find different ways to fix this problem. I'm going to show you how I did. Simply add another game object to your project. This object will serve as an anchor point for your previous object, the character. For best practices, I would suggest using a flat plane. Position the plane level to the game board that you have created and make sure that it is directly in front of your character or player. Then anchor the player to the flat plane. You actually do have the option of placing the plane directly under the character. I have chosen to place it in front of the character so that I can find the plane much more easily and interact with the plane again much more easily later. Once all of that is done, you can now place your scripts onto the flat plane and or the player object. This will allow your character to finally move as instructed.
do forgive me for I have been lagging on giving you the codes that are supposed to be in the description for your scripts. All the codes and the videos that I got them from will be posted in the description section so that you can copy and paste them into your project much more efficiently and quickly. Drag the script into the corresponding sections. As a developer or programmer, you guys definitely do understand that it is important to test as often as you possibly can to make sure that everything is working correctly. So do that now. As I begin the current test that you are viewing, it seemed that the character was just a little stiff. So hopefully we can fix that a little bit later on. In order to fix the stiffness of the movement, we actually have to go into the code that I gave you. Now I may make sure that the code that I give you doesn't have this slight problem and depending on the game that you are creating, you may like the way that the movement is being presented. But we simply have to change just a few characters in the code to get for a more fluid movement in our player character. So we're finally in the last stretch. We're heading to our swipe test script and we're going to be changing just this character right here. Play close attention please. Alright, so that probably happened just a little bit too fast. We basically changed the delta time from being uh, plus to being timed. Um, that means that you would get a smoother movement. I really don't understand it fully just yet, but if anyone else does, you guys can let me know. We changed it from plus to times. Um, plus one basically gives us the stiff movement. Times basically allows the delta function or the time delta function to uh, specify the way that the object should move instead of it being such a strict scale. All right, so what you saw me uh, doing there on screen is noticing that the character uh, doesn't fall when it is off of the platform. This is a mechanic that I actually want to add. You guys don't have to add that, um, but I think it would be cool to do so. This is what both of the scripts will look like when you apply them to your objects. Again, use the links in the description to progress even further through the tutorial. Later on, I'm going to show you how to make your character fall off, and we're going to be showing you 
how to get your character to be able to shoot. 